thank you for inviting me to such a valuable meeting in SPGI, the Spine Conference today. It's a second time to attending SPGI conference. I'm happy to meet uh, Professor Dr. Klamari and so many the Indian friends using the, the uh, online. Uh, endoscope surgery is uh, popular everywhere in the world now because it can be the most available surgical option as uh, the, one of the minimal invasive spine surgery. Today, I will talk about the endoscopic approach, endoscopic lower in spine field. As my disclose, uh, there has been huge increase, uh, a significant advancement in endoscopic spine surgery over the past few years, the endoscopic, the decompression is being extended to the category of a fusion surgery, the tree for the lumbar and HDF for the cervical. I'm sure you are familiar with the advantage of endoscope surgery in spine field, the take unique, the advantage of a spinal endoscopy, we can perform more effective, safer the open, uh, safer the spine operation for the patient. In case of uh, the paracentral disc, foramen disc, the stenosis, I prefer the posterior endoscopic uh, decompression. And in case of uh, central QG, hernia disc, and OPLL, the focal one level, I recommend. Uh, the endoscopic age step like this. I feel like there will be a change of indications in spine surgery more and more toward endoscopic surgery. The absolutely the role of open microscope surgery in spine the, would go down. We had to perform age step in this case, the paracentral disc the foramenal stenosis in the past. Now a few things of indication have changed. We believe the posterior endoscopic decompression have an important part as a minimal invasive spine surgery for cervical discectomy and the foramenotomy. As a video, C5 root decompression. It's a clean view is the one of the advantage of endoscope surgery. The ideal, the landing point of the instrument is medial board of lateral mass to perform the hemilaminectomy and the one fourth, the facetectomy to decompress ipsilateral and the contralateral area completely under the general the anesthesia. It's a three level with one skin incision, three level decompression, one skin incision. Is it possible with the endoscopy C with a sliding technique C45 decompression and moving to C5 or 6 bilateral decompression and C6 root decompression? It's a C6 root, and then we can decompression C67 for C7 root decompression. It's a sliding technique. The interlamina, the space in cervical is uh, in close uh, proximity to each other. Sliding technique is very useful for through level decompression with a one skin incision, one fasciotomy. It's a four level model path. We are looking at uh, the endoscopy, posterior approach decompression. For a long time, surgeon have been performed HDF or laminoplasty for long level myelopathy. From ipsilateral to contralateral side, 
full spinal canal decompression is available with an endoscopy. The post-operative MRI shows the significant increase in cross-sectional area and the AP dimeral without any muscle injury. Also, we can perform C1, the hemilaminectomy using endoscopy to decompress myelopath from C1 to atrial to tumor case without the inst instability. We can make a space using endoscopic C1, the hemilaminectomy. There were endless agonies about the brain problem leads to pressure from water irrigation during, uh, during the operation. The, fortunately, there are no any brain complication after the operations. It uh, takes a long time to get the kind of endoscopic technique in high cervical region like a C2 root symptom in case, case of a rheumatoid panus arthritis instead of a diffusion surgery. If post-operate CT scan, then we can use uh, endoscopy for to decompress C2 root. It's a C2 root and the final end stage of uh, the C2 decompression, C2 root. But some case, we need to perform fusion surgery and the implantation with the anterior approach in case of a midline pathology, like the central herniated disc, central calcified disc, or PLL, because it is not easy to access to the uh, pathology region with uh, the posterior approach. The endoscope surgeon has uh, extensive experience in developing the technique, how to approach to the anterior cervical space for endoscopic process. We can use endoscopy in H-step also with the 10 degree range angle, and we can use a one to 34 fiber millimeter casing punch and the drill. Before operation, it's very important to note the normal anatomy structures to avoid the damage anterior visceral organ, the like keratinosis, esophagus, trachea. One of the most serious complications can be the esophageal injury during the operations. So insertion of labin tube is essential to uh, prevent damage of esophagus. Even though esophagus is the more right side it's a CRM view, the right side, in right side approach, the generally push the anterior visceral organ, include the esophagus with a finger to the, the opposite side is very important. And then you can use the needle insertion, needle to prepare the serial, the instrument and the endoscopy. General anesthesia for endoscopic HDF is recommended to like open the HDF. The skin incision, the size difference between microscopic and endoscope is like this. The after landing the endoscope system on anterior disc space We can use an instrument like a punch, drill, forcep, same like a microscopic HDF. But fusion rate, subsidence, and the alignment are the same outcome post-operatory compared to microscope HDF because we use same case. It's uh, the eight millimeter uh, 8 millimeter two blade cervical, uh, cervical retract 
need to be the installed before the, the implantation. The young male patient has a myelopec at C5 or 6, AP diameter is just a 30 millimeter. So what is your options? My choice was endoscopic, HDF, all process are performed under the endoscopic view, discectomy, and remove of osteopite and the cage insertion. It's a final stage of uh, the endoscope HDF. Keep the drain is very important to uh, prevent hematoma postoperatively. And then you can see the esophagus move to the safe place, punch the post-operative x-ray, the MRI, the actual view is uh, two weeks after operation, the skin incision is 1.5 centimeter. The six, six month post operative will follow the stable and uh, as a uh, uh, 80 male uh, patient uh, has a C34 malopec. In case of a malopec due to the anterior the herniated disc and the posterior buckling uh, of ligand flavum, endoscopic HDF and the posterior endoscopic decompression at the same time can be one of the options. The sagittal and the axial post-operative, the MRI that shows quite enough decompression, punch, anterior HDF, and the posterior decompression. It's a millimeter, the peak cage with the DBM. We can see it to drain, to drain each opposite side. It's a HDF drain and the posterior decompression drain. C34 endoscopic HDF, the video, the after removal PLL and the posterior osteopite. You can see the pulsation of the dura before implantation and the posterior decompression at the same time. It's a video clip of posterior decompression from the ipsilateral to contralateral side. Uh, it's uh, uh, the artificial disc replacement with the endoscopy. Throughout the, uh, our experience, we are constantly present with countless opportunity to improve ourselves. I think it's a great example of how we could use the advantage of endoscopy. It's uh, the Dura, remove the PLL. I think the uh, spinal endoscope surgery is always separate to innovate. We can do it such a beautiful operation for a patient with a safety in the near future. Drain the post-operative x-ray. Okay, the, the first climber to get to the top of Mount Everest gave us a variety of information about which load the which equipment, what equipment, how to control the body response from certain weather, air temperature. That secure many people have a place a new load to get to the top now. I think it's hard to hard at first always, but 
you will get used to perform endoscopic using this good in information. The challenge to uh, something is scary at the moment always, but we have a new weapon to overcome this, overcome the uh, many uh, difficult, many hump now. In a way, endoscopic science for equipment, endoscopic technique for surgical approach, the window of generational change are upon us. And we have to keep in going. And of course, we should help and influence each other to exchange academic inf you know, information. We will have to challenge new things always and expand our field as a homo endoscopicus. We will hopefully recover from this uh, tragic disaster corona to meet each other again as soon as possible. Thank you.